you know the word innovation gets used around a lot we use it to describe everything and it kind of loses its importance in the process but something like this is actually innovative yep it's a usb c iphone people have been doing these kind of things to their iphones for a long time you know scotty from strange parts he basically built his entire channel modifying his iphone he's managed to put a headphone jack on an iphone 7 and this guy called kenny p he has put a usb type c port on his iphone which can even do data transfer I'll link to his channel in the description, you should definitely watch his videos and I'll also leave a link to his project on GitHub which he has now made open source. Yeah, Apple users, you guys won't know what open source means. It's a beautiful concept where someone who comes up with a solution launches the source code to a public where anyone can access and learn from it. It's the reverse of what Apple does where they lock everything and force you to use their ecosystem. It's why they had the courage to remove their headphone jack so that they can sell their own earphones. And they still want to leverage the lightning port accessory market because you know they sell the MFID certification meaning that anyone who wants to make an accessory for a lightning port has to pay Apple first to get those certified schematics from them. So Apple is making money out of every single lightning port accessory you see out there. That's why the USB-C port is already there in the iPads but they refuse to change it on their iPhones. With just the help of the internet, if people like Scotty and Kenny can do it, don't you think a multi-billion, in fact a trillion dollar company like Apple can't do it? Definitely they can, they just don't want to do it because they want to make more money. Kenny did something pretty ingenious, like he found a way to actually put the lightning ports connector inside the phone and only keep the USB-C header on the outside. That way the phone's hardware still thinks that you're using some kind of a Type-C to lightning adapter, whereas you're just plugging a Type-C cable directly into your phone's port. That port, by the way, has been replaced to a Type-C port, which the phone doesn't know. He describes that he got the idea from knockoff Chinese cables that he found in Taobao. Some Chinese manufacturers were able to apparently recreate the iPhone's Type-C to Lightning cable, so he managed to get his idea from that. Hilariously, he describes it as reverse engineering the reverse engineer. Again, the project is open source, available in his GitHub repository. I'll leave a link down there, you can check it out. But yeah, obviously it's possible. Someone made a USB-C iPhone that can charge, transfer data and has reversible functionality. Every time someone does this, it has to make you realize how full of shit Apple's excuses are. If they wanted to make a functional device, they could have. They just want to make more money. And they know that some people, regardless of what they do, will buy the next iPhone. I mean, I, I frankly don't get it. I mean, it's just a phone. Why do you blindly follow them like a cult? Anyway, it was a fun project that I thought I should share with you. I was planning to make this video for a long time, but I kept putting it off for some reason. But yeah, it's, it's long overdue. If you haven't seen it, you should see it right now. So yeah, that's about it. If you'd like to see more videos like this, then consider sticking around to this community here on YouTube and on Discord. Link is in the description.